Welcome to Electron Online, and now that you've memorized everything on the previous video, that big table, we're now ready to try some examples, see if we can figure out if these are soluble or not, following the rules. All right, silver sulfate. So what are the rules on silver sulfate? Well, on the sulfate ion, general rule is that they're soluble, but there are some exceptions. Calcium sulfate and silver sulfate are just slightly soluble, and then the ones that are not soluble are like the ones mixed with lead, with mercury and with barium, they're not. So this one is silver sulfate, so therefore that falls in the category slightly soluble. Okay, next is calcium carbonate. Well, whenever I see carbonate, I tend to think not soluble. That falls in the, on the category with carbonates, phosphates, sulfides, and sulfites tend not to be um, uh, soluble unless they're mixed with the ammonium ion, which I don't see ammonium, unless it's, they're mixed with the alkali metals. And calcium is not an alkali metal, it's an alkaline earth metal, and so therefore you would say not soluble. And finally we have uh, sodium phosphate. Phosphate typically is not, not soluble unless it's mixed with the ammonium ion, I don't see ammonium, and unless it's mixed with an alkali metal. And since sodium is an alkali metal, you would then say this is soluble. And that's how you do that. When you remember those rules on the previous page, it goes a long ways in understanding when something is soluble and when something is not. So there you go. That's a good example for that. And if you didn't quite follow what I was doing, go look at the previous video and look at that big table of the solubility rules, the general solubility rules, and then come back to this one. You should be able to figure out how to do that.